Welcome to Night Hacking at the JFocus Conference. My name's Steven Chin. I'm the Java Community Manager working at Oracle, and I'm, I'm joined by Alexi. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good, thanks. So we're going to chat a little bit about JVM stuff. You were at the VM Tech Summit yeah. yesterday, and that, yes. was, that was a lot of good geeky fun. Yeah. It, it's actually, uh, we, we were trying to do the uh, European kind of JVMLS style event there. So yeah. it's, it's smaller than JVMLS, but it's still very nice. <laughs> and it was a great audience, very, very technical, geeky folks. Yeah. Um, I posted all the recordings, so if you check the JFocus channel, you can actually see all the recordings online yesterday, from yesterday. Um, I'm going to switch to your desktop. So what are we going to talk about today? Yeah. You did a cool talk yesterday on um, yeah, so, the string concat work. Uh, yeah, so I did the uh, talk on two upcoming JDK 9 features. One is the uh, compact strings, which tries to represent the uh, ASCII, basically, strings in the uh, single byte per char, which saves lots of footprint. And another thing that optimizes the string concat itself, which is the indify string concat, which tries to move the statically compiled uh, CanCAD sequence emitted by Java C now back to the runtime, so we can we could actually uh, tune up the uh, the actual CanCAD sequence at runtime without recompiling Java programs anymore. So you could just recompile it once, get the Simplify call in, and everything else is handled by VM. And cool. GDK. And have you? Do you have any initial numbers on what sort of performance? Improvements you can expect. See, we see a lot of improvements on the our own real applications. Yeah. Um, in the footprint and performance improvements up to 10% are not uncommon. Yeah, that's pretty so good. For for a very ubiquitous class like string, for uh, the wide range of applications, it's really a nice performance improvement. Yeah, and I think you were mentioning yesterday that the the yeah. usage of string and I guess it was charad is the most. Yeah. The charad. We have like 2,000 something calls in GDK <laughs> alone, which is scary. Yeah, but that's doable. I mean, you can do this kind of optimization. Nice. But, but still, our set of applications is naturally limited. So it's instrumental that you guys go in, download the GDK 9 early access build, and try it on your applications and get your feedback to us. So if there is a bug or the issue, we can fix it before GDK 9 releases. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. OK, so what do you have on your screen here? Yeah, so I'm trying to show off a little benchmark that I wrote for this night hacking, which basically says, well, you know, we have this concat expression which says, this is JFocus year night hacking hosted by Steven Chin and me showing off JMH, which is the Java Micro Benchmark Harness, and two features, compact strings and indify string concat. And I want to run these benchmarks on different early access builds, GDK 9 early access builds, that have different features integrated there oh. to see how the performance improves there. Got it. Okay, so we will start with say JDK um, B92, which is the uh, early access build which doesn't have compact strings, which doesn't have indify string concat yet. So this is our baseline, cool. and I'm running it as the JMH benchmark, and I will attach the uh, GC profiler to it so we could see the allocations rate for this benchmark. So I will just run it on my laptop. My laptop is not really a good benchmarking rig, but it's still something there. So we are running at 345 nanoseconds per operation, and we are allocating around uh, 1,500 bytes per, per operation, which means that this, this thing here actually you know, produces the uh, 1.5 kilobytes of garbage on every yeah. single invocation. So that's that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of a lot. waste. Yeah, that's a lot of waste. Um, if you run with the B93, which is the first build which has compact strings, we will basically see this. Oh, come on, demo gods, do it. <laughs> All right. So, so if you're unlucky, it'll be slower and it'll take yeah, more yeah. space. But it is marginally faster there. Yeah. Um, it's 316 nanoseconds per op. But the uh, thing that you should really care at this point is that the allocation rate it had actually dropped off significantly. So now you have 800 bytes per operation, and that's what will matter in your real-life deployments, how yeah. much garbage you produce from this stuff. And the reason for the improvement is that we, the internal representations for the strings are now more compact. So you have more 
uh, more efficient usage of memory, you, you produce basically less garbage there. Mm -hmm. OK? So, but this is not the end, right? This is just compact strings. So I want to run with the, uh, the next build, which is 104. Um, let me do this on the 4, which is the first build that has indify string concat there. And it's, and it's marginally better than our uh, build 93, because we also optimized a few things in library that convert the primitives there. So now it runs at, at 286 nanoseconds per op, and pretty much allocates the same. Yeah, right? yeah. But it's st still not in DeFi string concat. We have this legacy bytecode where Java C actually emitted the uh, string builder and paint chains. We cannot do anything about it. But we can recompile it uh, with, the, uh, with the source and target 9 and see what happens there. So I have to uh, go to my POM file. Yeah, and I will just enable a secret switch, which will be enabled by default anyway. Got it. So I will recompile it. Nice clean we, recompilation. Yeah, and we should run it now. So same. Yeah. Same build, 104. Yeah, same build. And nothing really happens, right? It's the same performance. Even though we have the indi call, which is now emitted by Java C, but now the GDK actually emits something that does the concat. And at this point, in this build, we don't do any sort of optimization. We pretty much uh, emit the same string builder paint change that Java C emits for us. Yeah, so we don't yeah. have any regression. Yeah, it looks about the same. Looks about the same. But here's where magic happens. So let's uh, switch to the more optimal strategy. And again, this is the uh, secret switch, but it will be enabled by default in some GDK9 build. Cool. Inline size. WH underscore inline underscore sized underscore yeah. This exact. is another strategy that we use for Comcat. And this is the performance improvement. So we had like uh, 300 nanoseconds per up and um, eight oh, wow. 800 so bytes down per to up. So it's, it's like, done, yeah, more than 2x performance improvement. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. And the allocation rate actually dropped off significantly, like 3x at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the rationale between this feature. When you do have opportunity to optimize something in GDK itself without touching you know, the bytecode that you are generating, you are opening yourself up for this particular <laughs> optimization <laughs> there. So I think that's this is very nice, and it, it it improves the real world performance. So, so is there any for people of existing applications? So this will the behavior of their application yeah. will be identical. Yeah, but just faster. Yeah. Um, it, it, for compact strings, it's completely transparent. So you just upgrade the GDK and you get this feature. Yeah. For Indify String and Cat, you, you actually recompile. have to recompile. But there is the um, opportunity there. Uh, in Jigsaw, you have JLink which can rewrite the bytecode byte as it builds the uh, J image for the particular JDK installation. Yeah. So at that point, we can actually uh, see your legacy bytecode and rewrite it back to the Indify string concat, and you will get the same improvement. But nominally, you will have to recompile. But with the Indify string concat, you, can, you should only recompile once. Yeah. And we do not press you into recompiling every time we think something worth improving <laughs> there in Java C. Well, this seems like a pretty worthwhile performance improvement yeah. to, to recompile your code. So that's, that's very cool. Um, yesterday, you gave a great presentation on some of the details of the implementation of this feature. Yeah, it was mostly about the uh, angsty side of the development and how, what, what hoops you should jump through to actually implement this feature. And it's mostly of the interest of the VM guys.